So here's the thing. Does Shirati... I love this tree, by the way. I really want to be in Shirati all the time. And it's just so sad that they kind of gutted it and made it. That it's awesome if you're ranged. But if you're a caster, literally anything else is better. Which is dumb because this used to be one of my go-to trees for casting. I used to love it. Um, but the problem is they made they made it really good for range now, but this beguiling charm thing is still absolute garbage, and the hitbox on it. And I've sh I showed this on my warlock. We could take a look at it again, just because it's it's something to do. But the hitbox on Fey lights is just so shit. It's like a bad version of Dragon Breath. Like the hitbox for it, it's just kind of like a tiny little cone. I don't know, maybe like right in front of your character. So, you know, like if we were to look at my character overhead, it's just like this little hitbox right in front of her. So, like if I did it on these two, they'd be hit by it. But if I was like facing like here and I did it, they would not be hit by it. Obviously. It's similar to Dragon Breath, but the Dragon Breath has like a longer, wider kind of a reach to it. And I think you could be here and hit, still hit these with with Dragon Breath. Whereas the Fey Lights, I think it stops right about there. It's, it's just really craptacular. So, I mean, but why not? We'll take a look at it. I, I really do like this tree. Like, I, I want to use it more than I do, but it's just, they, they just nerfed it too hard. The, and the other thing too, is if they actually gave this tree a legit heal, something similar to Renewal or Cocoon, instead of this healing spring garbage that works off of what they need to do is just give us this and and drop the charge requirement for wild empathy that is just i don't like the idea that they made wild empathy has a specific use for the classes that have it it should have nothing at all to do with this this should just be a heal that you can cast that's similar to this or similar to this like they need to drop the wild empathy charge requirement for this and just let apparently according to this it functions like a vigor okay well why not just give us a vigor cast you know it doesn't need to be aoe like right now it's this stupid aoe that's on the uh, i won't rant about that <laughs> just just that's just my feeling like that was a great change to give us an incorporeality stack here. Awesome. All right, we're going to take this because that's an upgrade to the Fey Lights. We're going to take this if we can get Necro in here somewhere. I don't think we can. No, so we have to take Illusion because that's the other we are using Illusion. Guiling Charm is completely different. We don't have Watchful Eye, but I've only got three points left. So I'll take it. I could do the, like, listens, search, bot, immune to blind, but that's just so underwhelming that I'm not even going to bother with that. But we'll... Go and look at how how this Fey Lights hits. Because who knows? We're just trying to swap out one. We're just trying to swap out Carrion Swarm with something that works. So if this works, enemies in the cone take force damage. It works off my illusion bonus, which I have high illusion DCs. I mean, they're not like blasted through the roof, but they're not bad. Um... We're not in the mantle. So it's not going to change. It's going to stay force damage. And then if they fail, 
they have they can get dazed, blinded, and silenced. And it looks like they do. I might be wrong, but it looks like the will save for daze, a fort save for the blind, and a reflex save for the silence, I think. Okay, so we're, we'll try it. That's what it should do, but my experimenting with this so far has shown that the hitbox on this is just complete trash. Like, it needs to be redone. Even if they made this so it hit like like a pillar spell, like a light pillar. If it were like Fey Light and it was just a, you know, a, a thing that fell from the sky, that would be cool. It's just the hitbox the way they have it coded now. The other thing too is, well, why not give it the same hitbox as Color Spray? Nope. It's even worse. So, I mean, the very least, we should get some force damage. Force is untyped damage. I don't really have it myself stacked to do force damage, but... You know, I have 655. That's not bad. My crit is 21, and my multiplier is 25. Okay, so... At the end of the passage ahead, you can see a fortress floating in the silvery mists of the astral plane. All right, so here's our epic strike. 3,500 force. I mean, you know, that's not terrible. There it is again, 2,000. And it's really hard to see. I'll try to, like, I'm going to cast it right now. You see how it kind of looks like a spray that goes out? It, it does sort of like a dragon breath type of a hitbox. Three thousand. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, the fact that it does the same damage, that was 1,200, but it also has those effects on it right out of the box. Like, you don't have to buy those upgrades later on. I mean, I think that puts it in a, in a pretty decent position. That was 3,300. The other thing that this has going for it, I, in my opinion is the fact that this is a cone that could technically hit more than one monster. So, while the hitbox sucks, like, we can't hit the thing from here. Right, like, we didn't even come close to hitting that. I think if we were able to line mobs up, we could, we could get a bunch in there, so... I'm gonna try just doing it on this dude and see if we can... All right, so we blinded him. It looks like we dazed him for a second. There it is again. Ooh. All right, let's see what we can see. Yeah, it's actually hitting him. Like, so that's not terrible. That hit him with all three. And it's up every six seconds. Oh, actually, I'm not quite sure what that effect is. All right, he was blinded, he was silenced, and he was dazed. Yeah. So my DC for this is 94, which is a little bit low, right? Obviously, we were talking about that earlier. We want like 100 is like the bare minimum. So if you were on a first life, character new you were new to the game ish right yeah that's your goal at least in the beginning to hit 100 and then work on your gear to get it even higher like i was showing earlier 100 is not perfect but it's a good start uh my dc on this is not even 100 yet so if i really wanted to like use this i'd have to like focus it but i mean it's it's doing Better than I thought. I think what I'm going to do is throw a dancing ball just to help me with this, like, CC. So I can actually test. So I want to see if this actually hits these three things. 
It did. So the cone on this actually hits pretty well. Let me see if I can hit these two lined up. I did. And it did the... It hit them with the effect, whatever that is. The stun, the silence, and the... Yeah, I know. It's true, Spider. I, it, they, I did submit the bug report, like, feedback, and it's completely ignored. I didn't think that they would listen, but I try. I've made a lot of suggestions over the years, and none of my suggestions have ever been listened to, so... So, you know, the one issue... It, okay, so I'll tell you what I really like about this. It's up every six seconds, and it has CCs built into it. Like, that's really good. Um, it's quick. Not to mention the fact that it is an AoE, so, like, I can hit more than one mob. And it just hit that dude for, like, 3,000. The problem, though, is that it's not consistent obviously that's my dc's right but the dam i mean the damage really like it's not consistent damage so that was 3200 so maybe if i blasted my force up but when it doesn't crit it's very low it's like 1200 damage that was 1300 damage but it does blind them it does silence them it does daze them uh, when it hits so that's really cool i mean it's on par with what we've seen so far would i jump into it i don't think it it brings enough with it for me to feel like oh yeah that's really great audience of the queen gives you a buff that's great. Ghost touch and bypass. That's completely useless for me on a caster, which I don't understand why they didn't give us something here for casters. It, it just feels like they need to kind of go back into this and say, okay, we made it really awesome for ranged, which it is. Like, it's awesome if you're ranged. But for a caster, they just need to basically give it a little bit more love. I know they don't want to get it back to where it was when they first did the Epic Destiny changes. And it was like the go-to because the damage was just busted. But it's an awful lot to buy up to get your Paralyze. And then the damage on it, we tested it. It's just not there for spellcasters. So... The other thing, too, is, like, your epic moment is awesome if you're ranged, but if you're a spellcaster, it's it's garbage. It's not very good. So a lot of this core tier 5 stuff is just not really useful if you're a caster at all. Like, you want this. You'd want your moment, but it's just not that great. And this is okay, but... Um, I mean, imbued dice are great. I would take the Phalite upgrade if I could afford it, but I can't, you know, I don't have the points. If I were on my main, I could buy that. That would just make it a little bit better. But, I mean, it's not the worst. Like, it feels a little bit better. Um, because of all the other stuff, like the incorporeality stacking. I think we should have... I wonder if that actually does stack. It does. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, that to me seems a little bit more useful just as an off tree than like Magus or Draconic did. So, so far, this is the one that's winning, but I don't think that this stuff, while it's super cool, is going to be better than Exalted Angel. And, like I already talked about, because the wings, right? I mean, the wings are just so strong. 